Hey guys, it's Danette with Pear Hill Farms. Steppy's on his way out here. Um, we're out here at the greenhouse. Today is seed planting day. We're going to get some of our seeds in our starter trays and get them ready for um, uh, transplanting them into the garden uh, for the spring or late fall. So um, what I have out here, what I brought out here with me to get started is I brought our, all of our onions to get our, uh, our onions going because we have learned that growing your own slits work best. I've got our Brussels sprouts um, out here, our, all of our cabbages, our cauliflower, um, our broccoli, our, our uh, kohlrabi is out here. Um, but we're going to get all of these in seed trays this, this afternoon um, and get our uh, fall garden slash spring garden ready to plant. I'm so excited to do this. Um, the guys, you saw the video where they got the uh, greenhouse rewrapped. And uh, I'll turn you around here where you can see. Uh, it looks very good. Um, they left a little ventilation at the top there for it. I dropped some seeds. Uh -oh. My camera's going to fall over. Um, but anyway, um, we're going to get out here, me and Stumpy, and we're going to get these seeds in the trays. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, guys, we've got some uh, potting soil. This is Eric. I've already said it. There, I've already introduced us. Annette. I said well, you were on your way out. Are you hot, hot? sweaty? What'd you put on your face? Um, gnat spray. Oh, that's gnat spray. Okay. Um, is there anything special about this pot and soil that we've got? No, it's just supposed to be some pretty good stuff. It's got uh, earthworm castings and bat guano. For those of you that don't know what guano is, that's hockey. Yeah. So it's got earthworms, castings, and bat hockey. Brings life to your plants, it says. Ocean Forest. Fox Farm. Fertilizer Company. So we've never used this before, so we're going to try it and see. Now, in the past, what we've done, um, we have two different size trays from Haas Tools. These are the 338s. We're going to show them the one, is it 162s. Oh. Something like that. Yeah, they're called 162s. They, they have a little. They're a little bigger. A little bigger. So these are the the um the trays. The smaller ones we're going to use for all the onions that we have. And in the past, we've just put potting soil in it and dampened it after we got the potting soil in it. Today we got a little wheelbarrow here. I think what we're going to do is we're going to dump the potting soil in there, get it moist, and then put it in the seed trays. And once we get all the seeds in here. We're going to put the uh, trays in the, the greenhouse that is freshly wrapped. You ready? I reckon. How's it feel? No, it feels moist. But it's hot. Let's see how far half a bag goes. Y'all might hear Zoe in the background. Um, our friend that took her called us and said she had diarrhea. And so we took her today to get, or we actually took her poop in and had it tested and she's got coccidia. And so we've got her here and we're treating her um, and uh, with some medicine that we got from the vet and hopefully we got her set off by, in the stall by herself. And uh, 
Hopefully she'll get better. She's just been a weakling her whole life, bless her heart. Stop be stirring it up with the uh, with the hoe. Let me show you what he's doing. Getting it all moist there. You don't want it too wet, but you want it moist enough that um, when you put your seeds in there, it will help with the uh, seed sprout. So. What you think? Mm -hmm. I mean, you think it's wet enough? We'll try it and see. It, um, it's definitely, um, let me feel it. Yeah, it's definitely wet enough. I wouldn't get it too wet. Get it too wet. Retrieve the bat manure that they put in this bag over here. <laughs> guano. Bat guano. Brought my pens to label. What's the first thing? First thing's gonna be some Texas Super Sweet. Let's see if I can mark. Hoss. Need some good seed, get up my friend Greg. How many's in there? Flip over? 250. 250? So it says. Okay. So Texas. Super sweet? Yeah. We got another pack of them. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Ooh wee. They tiny. The biggest things I've ever seen. These are tiny. I better put my glasses on. And make a tool. Where I can see if I dropped one or not. Is it just one per hole? You can put two. Of all the things we do on the garden, I don't really mind doing any of them. But maybe this one. <laughs> I was wondering, you were at the kind of, kind of, um... I'm not a seed starter. I know it's an important skill. I know how to do it. I'm just not a fan of it. It is, a. Uh, it's tedious. Tedious. Okay, so we've got this first tray planted with all Texas Super Sweets. Um, from Haas Tools. So that's how many plants? 338. That's it. That's why it's called a 338. What I call it? A 638. It's a 338. 338. No. Because there's 300. Nope, it's not bearing them too deep now. I'm just going to run this, some of this dry um, potting soil over. Cover them slightly, and then we'll water them and put them in the greenhouse. Pray they come up. And pray over them that they'll come up. Right, Erica? Yes, Erica's, Erica's joined us. She's behind the camera. Yes, ma'am. Say hi, Erica. Hello. <laughs> okay. I've got this one labeled Texas Super Sweets. You want to uh, mist it? No, not till we get through putting all of it in there. Okay. You want to make more Texas Sweet over here? These need soil. 
Both of them need soil right there. Them two. This one and this one. And that one's full. Where's the shovel? It's got back guana on it. <laughs> Always a smarty pants in every group. Okay, so I need a, I need that to write what we got. You need some cash. Excuse me. What's in here, Erica? Wait. Texas red. Super Sweets. Those yeah. are. But which way did you turn it? This is red Creole. This this is my side. Red Creole is red Creole. Okay. Red Creole. Texas Super Legends. Back one of hut hut. And they go to the dot, the paper, whatever that thing is. Mm. And then the ones over here are Carta Blanca. Woo! Nats! Mm. So, did we get all the onions? All our onions are planted now, right? All but them few you got in your hand. Oh, huh? but these few red creoles. They can see. No, Why is y'all be sweet? Where you water or wet them. Remember, you got your others up here. Mm -hmm. I'll just go ahead and set them in there and wet them in there. Okay. okay. Let's set them the... down on the ground right here. No, uh, if you didn't want to get the inside just of it. Go ahead and put it on the inside. That'll help. Okay. Will you, you, Will you follow me with the camera then? Will you humidity? Here it comes. Got it? Uh, do you want me to grab the camera or the. I got it. Oh, yeah. You got the door? There goes my lovely wife with the uh, onions that's uh takes a sweet there texas carta blanca red creole back one of my mom texas, texas sweet there oh lordy those gnats are tearing me away that's right you know what daddy said about gnats no. now here she goes misting In order to do it. You always wet them again. It should be uh, pretty humid in there in the morning with the heat. All right. We got our onions started, hopefully. Yep. And uh, we're not done. We still got the cabbages to do, so we'll come back out. It'll be. What you trying to do? Focus or zoom. Zoom. Oh, I see. <laughs> Stuffy is operating the camera. Sorry for all the jiggle. Hey, we got we got to learn. Yep. I have you know the line's green across there like I'm holding it level. Good job, Stuffy. Well, we can only try. That's right. So the gnats and the black flies is about to tow the slam off. <laughs> sure. I'll come up. My with legs away. look like I got a chicken pox. <laughs> yep. There's a donkey with a chicken pox. <laughs> We will uh, finish up. We probably won't be able to do anything tomorrow because we've got to. Um, it's church, church day. But we'll have you join us when we uh, get the cabbage and all in. So we'll see you in a few days. Up, oh. your tail hit the camera stand, buddy. Goodness, the boss men. They're down here. They're down here. They're touching me. They have to be right here. Anyway, hey guys, this is Jeanette. There they go again with Perry Hill Farms. It's good to have you here this morning. Wow, the weather is stunning. It is stunning. I had to actually put uh -oh, leggings on. I'm losing information here. Um, this morning, uh, I mean, I could wear shorts, but the wind is blowing a little bit and it's just it's just so lovely out here today and so I thought I didn't have it's actually Thursday um, we were wrapping no excuse me we were um, seed planting on Tuesday we got all those onions planted well today I decided that I would go ahead and get the um, some of the other seeds in trays. I wanted to show you um, 
how the uh, seed trays in the greenhouse are doing today and um, and then I wanted to show you what what I am going to be planting today let's put my coffee down in seed trays I texted Jace just to verify exactly what he wanted um, me to put in seed trays I know that we did we did cabbage in seed trays last year um, I can't remember if we did lettuce in seed trays or not so Look at this. I gotta show you. I'm sorry. I just saw a squirrel or a cute, or a cute cow. But look at that, Cleo. She ran up to the fence to the boys. They were over there playing and she is curious. She wants to know about them boys. She is so cute. Look at there. She's curious. Of course, old Trumpy back there in the back. I just love my cows. I do. I love my cows. Love my cows. Anyway, today is Thursday, like I said. Denise has baby duty. It's her day to keep Anna Grace. So, Anna Grace just arrived. It is um, not even 9 o'clock this morning. We've already fed all the animals. Um, and uh, so, I wanted to take advantage of this beautiful weather and get some, some seed, more stuff planted in seed trays. So today, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna start off with the cabbage that we have, our Red Dynasty cabbage and our Stonehead cabbage and get them, get them planted in seed trays um, and uh, get them started. And maybe by the time I get these planted, there's how many seeds in here? Um, what does it say? Oh, maybe by the time I get these uh, 100, 200 seeds planted, I don't know if I'll plant that many. I probably need to, just to make sure, because I definitely want to, to put up some uh, coleslaw and uh, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get these started. Uh, Y'all come on with me. I'm not sure I'll use all of these, but I'll have them ready, um, just in case. So today, I think I'm going to put the um, the potting soil in dry. It seemed like it. I don't know. It just didn't. It didn't. It didn't feel the holes well. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, do it dry and then I'll, I'll mist it wet before I put the other, the other seeds in. So, this is rather moist um, potting soil. It's not uh, compost, it's not, it's not dry. The roosters are crowing, the birds are singing. The geese were flying by a, short, a little while ago. A whole group of them. They usually come and bank out there on the back pasture next to mom's house. And so, oh, it's close together. That other rooster you hear off, way off in the distance, is probably our old rooster. It's one of our breeze that we gave our. Uh... <laughs> there went one of my silkies. They sound kind of pitiful. I better move that. That's going to get dirty. Let's see the way up there. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear him. He's a young one. I went and checked on the other the onion seeds. They're still moist. So once I get all these seeds in, I'll, I'll um, mist all of it and it'll be wet for the day. Um, 
curious to see how this compost, I mean this uh, fertilizer, this um, soil does. Um, I know that Billy from Pern Pastures did uh, some experiments on some of the, the top top rated potting soils that claim to be organic. And uh, I think his um, his uh, conclusion was there was no organic matter in that in that what well, some of that that claimed it was organic. So. Um, which is, you know, sad. Organic means there's going to be a living organism in it. Oh, that's the dog on the camera. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh, I wish I could show you. She, the baby's out here with us. There goes the camera. Colonel's tail. Hey, baby, Anna. Are you going to be a farm girl today and I'm help us? Hat, her son hat. Yeah, she might need a sun hat, Nene, or your CC, not Nene's. Yeah, let's go get the sun hat. I'll be back. Okay. We'll be here. <laughs> that sweet baby. Oh, she's going to join us. Oh, that does my heart good. I need to go get the other potting soil. Zoe saw me, and now she's screaming. Now she's screaming. Let me get something to cut. Boy, don't go play. You'll have all this acreage to play. Go play. These are pruning shears, but you could, that was all I had on the golf cart to get to cut open. The bag. I think my son's gonna be really proud that, uh, that we went ahead and did this for him. His hours are long now, so he doesn't get to come in and help us out in the morning times anymore. There she comes back. Are you fussing? Are you fussing? Say yeah. Are you Say fussing? I'm fussy. Are you fussy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stick your head in, sister. Oh, ah, wet dog. There we go. Hello. You tell them that uh, mommy and daddy want to protect babies. So yeah. The camera. Yeah. So she won't be on our channel. You won't see her for a while until oh, mommy and daddy what, okay. tell us. You know we what? Can. We don't like that, do we? <coughs> you want to play in the organic dirt? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You want to get your nails dirty? Uh, what is it? <coughs> so I'm not a fan of the carrier. I know. Say, say CC. Say, I'm not a fan of the carrier. CC, get me out. Stacey will get her out for sure. Come on. That's right. We'll let Denise operate the camera. She's here with me, just behind the camera. Hello, sweetness. That's better, ain't it? Oh, yeah. See, look how happy I am. Oh, her whiten. Her whiten. Okay, I guess I need to teach. So these are the seed trays from Haas. For those of you who, who um, have never done seed transfer, plants before. Um, you want a good, a good um, potting soil that's got hopefully some, you know, good casting, worm castings and stuff in it that's an organic, true organic. Like I said, Billy Bonds from Permapastures did a test on, on some top name um, potting soils and they, there was not an ounce of living organisms in them. Um, so, um, uh, you know, I don't know. So, anyway, I have nothing to go by. I just, I'm just gonna, this is a brand we had not used, so we decided that we would use it. 
Um, so I'm going to start off with the red dynasty cabbage. There's a hundred seeds in here. It'll probably fill up this whole, tr most of this tray because it's like holes. Now, on these um, envelopes of all your seeds, they should tell you the planting depth. And these are a quarter inch for these red dynasty cabbages. So I'm just going to do a little dot in the middle with my finger. Some people use the end of a dowel. Some people use a pencil. So I'm just going to... Drop these in there. Um, just do a little bitty divot because I don't want them too deep. The thing about it, if you some seeds, if you plant them too deep, they will not come up. So you you want to be careful and understanding where uh, what's the seed depth. So. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times nine. That's 72 plants there. Um, let me do, this will be uh, nine times nine is 81. So right there, and then I'll do 10 rows. And see, not all of these are gonna come up. That's 90 seeds in there. Oh boy, and I just thought that those, well these are, these are round, these are a little bit better. Um, a little bit better. Gosh, I don't want like a hundred seeds, but they say it is. So I'm just going to drop, drop them in the center. Maybe I won't lose any. And I'm going to do one per, one per hole. We didn't get any vermiculite to put on top. We'll have to go to town today and I'll have to get some and come back and put some on top. Is the video going? Yes, it's going. Oh, I lost my, I lost my spot. Some of these might have two in them. Just, we can split it. Um, I uh, only have a few left over, so that's 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's, that's 90 cabbage plants that we have planted right there. I think Jason's going to kill me. <laughs> well, usually don't, they usually don't all make, so. Yes, yes. Okay, so the first tray is going to be the Red Dynasty cabbage. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I'm sweating. The next is going to be our stonehead cabbage. That's our green cabbage. We'll try it and see how it does. There's also a hundred seeds in here. Okay, so just for documentation for my purposes for future reference, I got um, 90, no, 81 seed transplants of our stonehead cabbage. I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows of um, stonehead cabbage planted. And then I've got 10 rows of my red dynasty cabbage. So I'm gonna have a little bit more red cabbage than I will my, um, my uh, green cabbage, but that's okay. Um, so, um, now I'm going to get ready and I'm going to plant our cauliflower. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other half of the cabbages to do the cauliflower. That way when they come up, we'll know the difference. I've got this one marked. Um, once, once I get all the seeds in, then I'm going to add more, um, fertilizer or, um, potting soil on top of that. And then we'll put them in there and I'll mist everything ready to germinate um, in there. So I think what the next one I'm going to plant is our um, stone flame star cauliflower. We've not ever grown this. It's interesting. I'm not a huge fan of cauliflower. I'll eat it, but I've got to have I've got to have something with it or on it to, um, 
it's bland to me. Maybe this would be a different, a different flavor. But there's so much you can do with cauliflower. There truly is. I need to mark um, this row. Where's my... Do I have... Let's see, what is this? So, let's see. Um, I'll mark, mark that seed right there. Okay, and then... Okay, so, on my Red Dynasty cabbage, I'm going to put... Um, on the other end, I'm going to put these, uh, these Flame Star cauliflowers in. Um, I've never, like I said, we've not ever done cauliflower. Jace loves it. You know? Just, oh my goodness. These are tiny. So, um, tiny seeds. Can you see that? Can you see that? Look how tiny they are. <laughs> okay. Um, another way that you can, um, you can just drop them and do a little small indent. So I only got one, two, three, four, five full rows. Five times nine is 54 and then 57 plants um, of the cauliflower and I'll write that on there too. I better write that down. 57 of those. Okay, so I got that there. Next I'm going to do on this other one, this other tray, I'm going to put in the twister, the twister cauliflower, which is a white cauliflower. I can't remember if this was the one. No, maybe this was the one that was self self wrapping. Anyway, I have to. I have to check with the guys. They they can retain that stuff so much better than I can. You know, is remembering which is the details of the stuff. So anyway, I got the uh, twister. I'm on, I'm gonna plant them in this other tray here. I'm gonna put. there so I'll know what that is and that's the red dynasty cabbage there and then the stone hex cabbage is under this one and this will be the twister cabbage I said twister cabbage twister cauliflower sometimes I wonder if I'm gonna be just an old my brain Sometimes I just wonder when I get older, am I gonna, and I'm not making light of it at all. Oh, we've got some Mexican music playing with the concrete guys. We might have to get up there with the Maraca band. That's funny. That's funny. We don't own rights to that music either. This will make you appreciate your food a lot more when you work at it like this. Okay, so I have these two trays with seeds in them. Now I'm going to cover it with some more potting soil. And then I'm going to put it in the greenhouse and get it... Um, get it... Um, misted and all so I'm just gonna lightly cut cover. it down so it gets good seed contact seed contact is very important to this you want to make sure that it's you know good and not tight you don't want it compact you want contact um, so I'll pat this down lightly just to cover up the seeds and pray I didn't get them too deep um, and then I'll get them in the greenhouse and mist them so this has bat compost and worm castings in it which is which is um, bat poo and um, um, worm poo, poo which is excellent for and that's the whole reason we have our worm bed back behind us over here um, I've already this one doesn't have anything in it. So this is it. Okay, so let's go put this in the greenhouse.
Okay, let me get this labeled. So back here on the back is going to be, I think I got 50, 50, 50, my Sharpie. Maybe I'm working work. I think it dried up. Let me go find my other one. That's okay. More than one way to skin a cat. Okay, so the back side is the Flame Star Cauliflower. So I'll write that on here. Okay, and then up here is the Red Star Cabbage, or the Red Dynasty Cabbage. And there's about 90 plants there. So I have that labeled like that. So maybe, maybe I'll label here. Okay. And what I'm gonna also gonna do is I'm also gonna put my my um, seed packets up under where it is. And then I'll bring my other. Okay. So on the back side is my twister cabbage. I'll write that here. And it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty-one. Um, what did I say this was? Twister cauliflower. Why do I keep wanting to say twister? cauliflower. Okay, here. Maybe that won't wash off, but I'll put my, again, I'll put my thing, and then up at the front is um, 90, 90 seeds of um, Stonehenge. So I'll do 90. I'm going to go in and get the, uh, we have um, Stonehead cabbage. We have, uh, I'm going to go in and get the popsicle sticks. 90. Because this is going to wash off just as soon as I wet it. But I'm going to put my, put this here with my stonehead cabbage up at the front. And I can do nine, I can write on the packets and it won't go anywhere. Um, seeds there. So I've got my cabbage and my cauliflower plant. I just got to figure out what was the other thing that um, Denise said. I can't remember. I need to go get the um, water hose. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to lightly miss this. Okay, I'll come back out in a little while and check on the moisture of them. Maybe, they, ooh, man, I'm sweating. Um, but, like I said, we've got all of our Texas sweets, uh, onions planted, our Carta Blancas planted. We got our Red Dynasty cabbage. We got our Flame Star um, cauliflower, our Twisted cauliflower, and our Stonehead cabbage. Um, plant it here. I'm going to leave it alone, let the heat activate it and the moisture of the uh, water, and we'll come back after a while and we'll check on it. We should. So these have been in the seed trays for a while. For, wait, for two days? Tuesday, Wednesday. Today is, uh, um, probably, I would say the second day because we didn't do it till Tuesday afternoon. So it's the second day. So, um, I'll come back and check on these again. They should, we should start seeing some sprouts the next day or two. Um, but there we go. We have it, guys. Our seed starting has started. I'm excited about that. Um, I'm going to see what else I can get into. I'm sure I have some more stuff I can be finished, y'all. Stay with us. There might be some more seed trays planted today. I went ahead and got our 
broccoli. So I have a whole tray of broccoli seeds planted and watered and ready. And that's all I'm going to do for today. I'm going to let these get wet, uh, dry up some. I'll come back and wet them. Meanwhile, I'll go get the um, the sticks ready to go inside of them so that they, so I know all that rot is going to wash off. Anyway, appreciate you watching today. Not too exciting. Just some seed planting here. Hanging with me. Um, if you like our channel, please share our videos. Um, please hit that like button down the bottom. Remember, Jesus died on the cross for you. God loved us so much that he died, sent his son to die on the cross for us that we might have a way to heaven. And I pray that you know him as your Lord and Savior today. Listen, he is gracious. He is merciful. There's nothing that you can do except to deny him and not accept him as your Lord and Savior that could not make him love you. Turn to him today. You will not regret it. Listen, God bless you. I pray that y'all all have a God day. And we'll see you on the next video. Remember, a stuff he always says, a simple life is a much more enjoyable life. God bless. Mm -hmm.